Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showing you how to set up Mega Lights in Unreal Engine 5.5. Mega Lights is a new lighting system in Unreal Engine 5.5 that allows you to use as many lights in your scene while being very performant. You can have all sorts of lights in your scene, all casting shadows, being fully movable and dynamic, all in real time. And in this video, I want to show you how you can set up this exact scene that you see right here, how you can set up these textured area lights. Basically, these screens are running 4K videos and they are lining up the scene casting shadows and i will show you exactly how to set this up step by step so if you guys end up enjoying this mega lights tutorial make sure that you leave a like on the video and consider subscribing as i will be uploading more tutorials on the new unreal engine 5.5 features also if you want to learn more about game development in unreal engine 5 you can check out some of my courses on my website where you can learn how to make all sorts of games i have a multiplayer survival game course on there as well as a mobile game course so yeah check out those courses on my website the link in the description or head over to smartpoly.teachable.com. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so first of all, to get started with Megalites, you need to download or have Unreal Engine 5.5 installed. Currently, I have Unreal Engine 5.5 Preview 1 downloaded and installed. Uh, Preview 1 is basically like the early access or beta version. Now you can just create any sort of template. I just created a third person template. And once you have your project here, we'll need to go ahead and firstly enable Megalites. So to enable Megalites, you want to go to your edit project settings. And then in here, you want to search for Megalites. And under engine rendering, you're gonna see we have mega lights and we can click this checkbox to enable it. And that's pretty much it. Now to go ahead and set up the texture light areas that we saw at the beginning of this video, basically we're going to use some 4K footage. In my case, I have downloaded these 4K videos, which are basically of things like the Matrix Awakens, as well as the Nanite Showcase video. So you guys can either download these from the YouTube channel or you can download it from the link in the description. I'll leave this in a zip file. I'll throw it up on my Patreon. Or you guys can just head over to the Unreal Engine YouTube and find those videos, clip them up. So once you have your clips, we can right click, create a new folder for our clips and double click open these up and we can just drag both of these and drop them into our project. And now we'll go ahead and import those 4K uh, media sources. Let's just save that. And then we'll need to create media players for these. So right click, create a new media media player. And we're going to click on this video output media texture asset. This will just create a media texture asset, which is what we'll need as well. So click OK. And once we click here, you can see that it created two different assets, our media player and our media player video. So we can double click and open up this video media player. And in here, we'll select our first video or 4K playback. So just double click on it and you can see that it's playing back this 4K video. We can pause it here and just save that. And if we go back into our content browser, you can see that now that we selected that video, it's playing that video on this texture. So now that we have this texture, we can go into our level and let's add in say a basic cube and let's scale this up something like this and just drag this on to this cube. And you can see that it now applies that and it actually creates a, another asset, which is a material. Let's do a file, save all. Now for this material setup, let's actually double click and open this up because we're going to modify this material. And all we're gonna do is take the RGB and plug it into the emissive color and save that. And now if we go back into our level, it has a little bit of emissive material and that will cast a little bit light as well. But let's actually go ahead and scale this down so it's not as stretched. Now to actually play this video, what we'll need to do is go to our level blueprint. So go and click on this button and click open level blueprint because we'll need to load the video on the event begin play. So right click and search for event begin play. And we want to create a new variable in here and name this to our media. And we'll change this to a media player. We want a media player object reference. So compile and save. And now with that reference in the details here, we can set a reference to our new media player. And then we can get that on the graph and do a open source. And basically the open source will play this video. And for the media source, we want to select the video that we want to play. So in our case, we selected the 4K playback and compile and save. And now if we go ahead and hit play in our scene, you can see that it's playing back this video. Now we're actually not going to see any lighting happening from this. And the reason why we're not seeing any lighting is because we need to add a area light. So to add an area light, you want to go to the key plus icon and under the lights, we have this, this rect light. So just drag and drop it in here and you'll see it's sort of like this 
square light. And so we can take this light and we can rotate it 90 degrees. Let's actually make our scene dark. So if you hold down control L, we can control the time of day and maybe put our sun down. But now with this area light, what we can do is we can actually scale this up. So you can scale the source width and the source height just so it matches actual size of our screen. And then what we can do is with this, you can play around with things like the intensity, but most importantly, you want to select the source texture. And so if you hit the drop down, or if you go to your content drawer clips, we can drag in our media player video and drag and drop it. And now it's using that video as the textured light. So now if we hit play, what you'll notice is now it's playing the light source. So the light is basically matching the video source. So you can see when it opens up to the shot of the city, it will brighten up the scene. And we actually want to loop the video as well. So if you go to your media player, you can click on this loop here and that will just loop the video indefinitely. But as you can see, it'll basically light up the scene based on the video. And there's a couple of other different settings that we could mess around with this light itself. If you search in the details for mega lights, you can see that we have allow mega lights enabled and you can choose your shadow method. Uh, currently we have this set to the default. Another thing that we can do is we can search for our post processing volume. And if we search for mega lights here, we can enable mega lights under the rendering features. And you can see basically on and off so we can save that. And now what we can do is we can actually duplicate this screen or you can add any sort of Quixel Megascans asset to sort of view the shadows and the lighting on it. So if we actually just duplicate this over here as well as the light and let's actually go ahead and create a new media player for our other media and create the video media texture asset. And we'll do the same exact process. We'll double click on playback two this time, which is our Nanite footage. And then once we have that, it will apply that to the texture. And if we drag and drop it, it will create the material. And then we double click on this and just plug this in for the emissive, save that. And then let's actually go ahead and make sure that this is also set to looping. So save that as well. And then in our third person map, our level blueprint, let's duplicate this media reference, pile this and set this to our new media player one and do the same thing. We're going to open source but in our case it'll be the media playback 2 and compile and save and now if we go ahead and hit play you should see that play as well but we also need to of course set the texture so select the light and in here we're going to go ahead and drag our new media player into there also another thing you can do is set these to movable so let's set these from stationary to movable because Mega Light supports all sorts of movable lights and dynamic lights as well. So now we can see that as a light moves in the video, it actually casts light into our scene and sort of illuminates our level. Now there's a lot more settings that you can obviously play with. You can play with things like the intensity of the light if you want to increase the intensity as well as things like the shadows. I wasn't actually able to figure out how it was able to cast shadows like we saw in the demo itself. So if you guys figure out, you know, any better settings, let me know down in the comments down below. Now there's some artifacts here that you can see on the ground, a little bit of flickering. And of course, Megalice is still in early access and is still experimental. So just note that they're still working on updating Megalites, adding new features and bug fixes and things like that. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and you learned something. Again, let me know down in the comments if you guys found some good lighting settings. I was only able to play with this for, you know, about 30 minutes to figure out and set this up. So again, if you guys figure out any other better settings to really get the lights popping and the shadows and everything, let me know and share it down in the comments down below. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments and check out my courses on my website, smartpoly.teachable.com. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.